Uh, hello and welcome again um, to this webinar. Today we are going to be discussing uh, the top must-have features of an Internet portal. That is our topic. Uh, my name is Brad Bowman. I am a SharePoint specialist with uh, my Doc 365. And um, today you know, we are going to talk about the must-have features um, and that is going to be followed up by a brief demonstration of Doc which is our, our turnkey Internet portal powered by SharePoint, uh, a product that uh, we are marketing. And we'll show you how you can leverage um, what we're going to be talking about with, within a, an actual working internet portal. Um, so that's going to be our agenda. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, speed through these slides in our demonstration. If you have any questions, um, we'll take those at the end. And um, yeah, so let's get going. Okay. So to have an intelligent conversation about an internet portal. Um, everyone's kind of be on the same page about what exactly an internet is. Um, so, what is an internet? It's it's going to be your company's online workspace per, per se. It's it's a hub where your users can do their work. They can collaborate with each other, engage with each other, and, and be productive. Um, an internet is designed to basically substitute all of the, the things you would do in a normal office setting and just have that in an online space where, where it's a little more powerful um, and a little more helpful um, to do such. Um, you know, the, just the name intranet. Um, that's not to, to get too deep into grammar here, but intra means within, inter means external. So the internet is everything out there on the World Wide Web. Intranet is what you're going to be using within your organization um, to get things done. So as you probably know already, um, the world we live in, you know, obviously is advancing at a very rapid pace. We've we've seen some some very um, Awesome trends come across um, the, the business world in the, in the last decade or so, um, with the explosion of m mobile devices, uh, cloud computing, um, social networking, um, etc. So, of course, everyone's going to be using uh, devices, whether it be a, a tablet or smartphone, so that they're always connected uh, the, to the to the people they work with and to their and to their peers. Um, the, the statistics here you see on the page, you know, pretty staggering numbers. 82% um, of the world's online population is engaged in some form of social networking. So that's what they're going to be um, working with. That's what they're going to be familiar with. Um, and with that being said, the 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 use of the the social networking and devices. Uh, require an immense amount of, of hardware behind it, and people are mo more moving towards the cloud with these big data centers that store information, data remotely in some big server farm, and and that makes it accessible no matter where you are in the world, um, as long as you have connection to it. And it's a little improvement over over what we've um, been kind of accustomed to with with local storage, hard disks. Um, you know, it's, it's a little safer than having hard disk on your on your local that can be wiped at any time, viruses, etc. Um, these big data centers are very secure and, and they offer gr uh, great flexibility. So, keeping that in mind, what is needed for an internet portal um, to be successful? So. We created Doc from our experience in developing many SharePoint internet portals for the corporate world. We've had several clients in the past where we've completely developed a custom internet portal. With these well-crafted intranet portal solutions, it helps your company share ideas. It helps you expand the vision of your company with your employees, vendors, or customers. You can automate your business processes, store documents securely, share it with others to collaborate, and search and have all the capabilities needed um, to make that possible. Um, with SharePoint, uh, we built Doc on top of that. It's um, built on top of SharePoint 2013 at the moment, and it can be deployed either SharePoint Online or SharePoint On-Prem. What makes that successful? 
these are your core must-have features. And I'm going to talk about each one of these in a little more detail in the coming slides. You got to have your tools. Your tools need to work. It needs to be easy to use. It needs to be organized. You need to be able to collaborate, network. It needs to be secure and manageable, and also flexible and scalable. So, when I mentioned tools, tools for success. A worker needs tools to get things done. Um, big part of human history, you know, when people use a chisel to make a big block of stone into a wheel. You need your tools, right? Um, your portal has got to have adequate resources for your users to get things done. Um, so, with SharePoint and Doc, you know, you have the option or the feature to use Office web apps. And those are really powerful because it allows you to sit there and just click on a document and it opens right up in, you know, say Word Online or Excel Online, stored in a convenient location. It opens up, allows you to edit it. Um, so previously you would have a lot of people complaining about or just having trouble with storing documents in some location, one of their personal locations. I mean, we've seen a lot of people that, that use Dropbox, Box, Google Drive, um, you know, and they have to attach it to an email. They have to send a link to someone. That person you know, has their link. They work on it, and they send it back, and then they lose the link. And it just it causes a lot of confusion and headache. Now, with with Doc in a, in a successful internet portal, you're going to have your documents centrally located. They're going to be organized into document libraries and lists, and you're going to be able to click on those, open up the document. Um, make an edit. It even allows for collaborative editing. So people can work on documents at the same time even. Um, and it keeps track of the versions. You can, you're still able to audit the documents. That's going to be key um, if, you're, if you're a larger organization, if you're, you have very strict compliance policies or, or auditing, you, you need a so-called paper trail. Um, that's what's going to help you do that. In addition to you know, the Office web apps, um, the standard links, um, again with, with the hub analogy, you're going to have your central hub with your internet, and then it's going to have links to what you need to get to um, to make your work happen. So commonly used apps, uh, documents in those libraries I mentioned, um, they need to get to those. And so a good navigation is key. Uh, we, you keep a top navigation, a left navigation. Um, within each uh, subsection of your site, Users need to know where they are, and they can do so effectively. Which brings me to my next point. An internet portal needs to be easy to use. Um, if you roll out a big new product like an internet, or a, a big new solution like this internet or doc, you'll find that users are completely unfriendly to your product or solution. If it's, if it's not easy to use. If there's a big learning curve, that's, it's very intimidating. No one's going to use it. A, a big complaint about of an unsuccessful Internet is that no one really understands the best way to, to do it, what, what the portal is designed to do. Um, so they, they get confused. They just, no, I don't want to use this anymore. I'm going to stick to what I know. So when you deploy a new Internet, there, there has to be some degree of of uh, friendliness, some degree of familiarity, and they need to know how to use things. And even if they don't, it needs to be easy to learn how to use um, the new things. Um, building on that, um, responsive design is also a key. Um, I mentioned earlier, um, with all of the devices people use, smartphones and tablets, um, their viewport is a little different than a big desktop, obviously. Um, you know, one of the key modern trends is, is making making your websites responsive, and, and that means you have all these little areas on your website. When you, when you view it on a smaller viewport, such as a, um, a tablet or a mobile device, it needs to kind of accommodate that and still be organized efficiently and still keep it um, something akin to what they already know. Um, and so you'll see with Doc uh, when I get to the demonstration, 
you know, we, we have a kind of a tile design, and these tiles they kind of be, they're able to move around. It's similar to how Windows has done with the recent operating systems. Uh, I think it was introduced in Windows 8 and improved upon in Windows 8.1, to where you see these big tiles, which are very you know touch friendly. Uh, Microsoft and Windows has emphasized uh, touch friendliness in recent years because a lot, I'd say, you know, probably most of your of your mobile devices um, are going to be touch screens, and if you can't you know, get around to what you need to do, or if the links are too small for your fingers, um, that's going to be one of those off-putting factors um, that's going to drive people away um, from accepting the new internet solution. So responsiveness is key. It's one of the things, one of the most important things to making an internet portal friendly. Moving on, uh, we have Another key to a successful internet is the organization of content. Now, with an internet portal, it's not necessarily just one landing page and a couple libraries and lists behind it. You, you know, for the most part, companies are going to be divided into departments or divisions, however you want to call it, and they, need, they each have their own specific needs. Um, so the content must be appropriate to the user who is using the portal. So if an IT guru logs into the portal, he needs to get to his IT section to where he can manage his tickets, um, find the knowledge base articles, um, you know, communicate um, with his superiors and, and post frequently asked questions, things of the like. Things that probably wouldn't make sense being located somewhere else, say like the, the human resources portal. You know, what's an HR person going to do with FAQs and, and IT tickets. So another key is you know the grouping, the logical grouping of content, and that is made easy with the way SharePoint and Doc behaves. Um, at, with the um, with SharePoint, you have at your root of your site collection, it's called your 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 root site, and that's going to be your highest level, and that's our landing page. People log into the landing page. That's their hub to get to where they need to go. I'm going to emphasize that. So from the landing page, you then have the option to navigate to your departmental portals. And this is a hierarchical structure. So the departmental structures are what's called subsites of the landing page. And I've made a you know, very um, simple diagram here kind of illustrating what I mean by that. You see the landing page has several departmental pages categorized under it. So they're all children of the landing page. They're all subsites. So sales, HR, IT, they're directly under the landing page in terms of hierarchy. And this can be extended indefinitely by creating new subsites. Um, so for example, with sales, if you have certain sales teams or, or sales areas that operate under their own guidelines or, or structures, um, but still relate as in being a sales team, you have the option to create those sales sites as well. And that's going to help keep the flow going, keep the organization um, logical and efficient. Another one of the features that you're going to be needing to use to make it familiar to your users to promote acceptance with an internet portal is the support of social networking and collaboration, um, as I mentioned prior. So if it's going to be an online office, if it's going to be a hub, you have to treat it as such, where your users are going to be there at the same time. You know, maybe you have several offices across counties, across state lines, maybe it's even across the country. Even if you, know, you have an office in Jacksonville, an office in Seattle, and these people are, are talking across you know, thousands of miles, Maybe they need to work on a document together. Maybe they need to have a chat with each other and, and just work on something, get it done, make comments, audit each other, um, things of that nature. And so I mentioned in a, in a previous slide that Office Web Apps, they do allow simultaneous edits of documents. Um, and that's really cool because you can log in, assign in uh, to your portal, 
open a Word document, say, and you start typing on it in, in Word Online, for example. If your person in, in the other office comes in and logs into that same document, you know, they'll get a notification that you're working on it, but it will allow them to work on it at the same exact time. It will show you where their cursor is, um, and you can have a little in-document chat um, so you don't run into each other. It, it allows you to work um, you know, simultaneously as such, and that's one of the keys to being productive. It allows you to save time, and, and, it's, and it's very powerful. Um, again, discussion boards, um, chatting. Um, we have options for you know, Yammer integration. Um, it's a corporate social network kind of deal if you're, if you're not familiar with Yammer. Um, things that are, that are spawned from the explosions of social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter and you know, all that good stuff. Um, user profiles, you know, you, get, you can let other people know what you're all about. You can, um, it keeps track of what documents you've worked on. It provides insights. You can preview documents that other people have worked on. And it's, and it's really cool like that. Um, sharing. Uh, sharing is one of the neat things about uh, uh, SharePoint and Doc. If you, need, if you have a document that's um, protected by permissions and it needs to go on to someone else, or you just want someone to take a look at it who's, who already has access to it, you just hit the little share icon and it'll, you have the option to promote someone to have view access or read or edit access on a document or, or a folder within a document library or a list item or even an entire site. It, it, it functions on, on, each, on each kind of level there. Um, with, with the sharing functionality, you, you can see who has access to it kind of on a, on a very brief overview level. You know, see who has access to it, get a link to whatever you're, you've selected, um, send a link to someone, and, or just you know, directly grant uh, permissions from there. And, and that's really cool. But, of course, when you're sharing documents, you know, sometimes they can be sensitive or you just have a, a very um, strict you know, auditing policy. You need to have the records um, kept track of, keep the versions in, in check, you know, that sort of thing. And so another key to being a successful Internet portal is being able to manage it and being able to set permissions you know, on a on a very easy to understand level. Again, um, ease of use is one of the big ones here. So the content must be intuitive to manage. The content must be secure. Um, so with you'll see with when I do the demonstration of Doc, you know, even though we have a back end way of, of managing everything, if anything's able to be edited directly from the page you're on, you'll see a little icon. Uh, you can click on like a plus icon for a new. Uh, a pencil icon for an edit, um, a trash can icon for delete, and that's going to be, you know, easy to understand for someone who's never really managed, you know, information like this. And with content management, that's going to be key. Um, they're going to need to, um, you know, add content, delete content, you know, post new things, and, and be able to to manage that um, easily. And that's what's going to make it successful. Uh, permissions. Uh, same kind of idea. You, you need to be able to set um, user groups. Um, security groups are the best practice um, in terms of permission settings. You can do it at a user level, but it's generally a good practice um, to set it on a group level. So you add someone to a group, and if they leave your organization and move on or, or whatever, you can just remove them from the group if you want to remove those permissions. Um, of course, you need to understand what the permissions are. Um, read, contribute, design. These are going to be the terms used in SharePoint, um, for instance, that describe the level of access a user has on, on whatever they're, they're trying to access. And again, uh, another note on sharing. Right there from the document level, from the list level, you'll be able to, to just click that little share button and send it to someone else. <laughs> Excuse me. And so one of the last um, must-have features um, I want to speak about will be flexibility and, and scalability. Uh, I don't think it needs to be to really 
be stated as such, but obviously your business is going to evolve. It's, it's a fluid environment. Um, things are going to change. You're going to grow. Um, maybe you're not expecting such high growth. Maybe you know, a new business need has evolved where you create another department. Um, you get a boost of new hires. Um, you know, all things of that nature. And so for the internet to be successful, it needs to accommodate such. It needs to be powerful, robust, extensible. And with SharePoint you get all those things. Um, the power. SharePoint server, it's it it's crazy. It's 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 a wonderful application that's installed on the server and it provides all of these powers um, that I've talked about and, and, and more. Um, you'll see just from looking at it. Um, it's robust. You're not going to see a lot of. You're not going to see failures. Um, you don't want failures. You don't, you don't want errors popping up on screens, and, and that's something you're not going to get uh, with SharePoint. And extensibility. Being able to create new subsites, maybe remove subsites, add new repositories for documentation, uh, create new lists. Um, store tables of data, um, workflows, uh, permissions. Everything needs to be able to evolve as your business evolves. And that is key. And so with all that being said um, about just internet portals in general, you know, we have our product doc. And I've mentioned this several times. Doc is built on top of SharePoint, and that's going to provide immense value um, to your business as an internet portal. Uh, with Doc, you get everything I just talked about, um, best experience across devices, uh, connectivity, um, social networking, collaboration, um, robust security, um, and, and the ease of management and the option to customize your site. I don't think one of the things I didn't mention is that you know with Doc and SharePoint, you have the option to to insert your branding um, everywhere and anywhere on the site, um, customize the theme, just various user interface elements. Um, it, it's completely customizable. We've developed you know our tiled approach with our with our web parts and our our web apps. You can mix and match. Um, remove things in these departmental sites, create them as needed, um, add as needed, or delete as needed. It's completely up to you. you know, every, every business is unique. You know, we, we've developed this as a turnkey portal. It's going to be easy to deploy, but it's not something that would just give it to you and, and you're done with it. You know, as I said, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow with you. It's going to adjust for you, and, and we're here to support it for you. Um, we're very accommodating, and uh, you know, we work to your requirements. That's what we emphasize um, with the development of Doc. So, without further ado, uh, let me just kind of walk you through what exactly Doc is, so you can see this in action. You know, it's been all talk up until this point. Um, Probably tired of my PowerPoint slides, and so let me show you um, the doc instance we have in action. All right. So on your screen now, we have our demonstration instance of doc. Um, so right here, we're on our landing page. Um, this is a SharePoint Online instance, you know, powered by Office 365. You see right here on the home page we have our, our tiles um, and, our, and our web parts. Now we have a content rotator right here stuck on the home page. Get what you need out to your users, um, information, um, alerts, little one line um, important information, uh, notifications of downtime, um, system updates, maybe even you want to emphasize an upcoming event to, to your users, you have the option to do so. Uh, from the alerts bar. Over here on the right of the screen we have um, a My Tools section. And these are SharePoint apps 
you download those from the SharePoint App Store, attach it to your doc instance, <laughs> Excuse me. and you can set these on a, on a previous level. So my tools, these are me. No one else is going to have my tools. Um, you select these from your internal application store, and you can add and remove those as possible to get to what you need to do. And so these are just examples uh, of what's possible here. Underneath uh, my tools, we have our my favorites. Um, this is an area where you can track um, favorite documents or, or, or list items. Um, one of the, the one of another you know kind of social networking elements is the ability to follow something, um, kind of get alerted on on things. So anytime you click follow on a list item or a document, it's going to appear here in the my favorites. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have our little icon here to get rid of a my favorite if you want, and that will unfollow it. So you, you know, as I mentioned, content management is, is key, um, and it's got to be easy. And so you can see right here on the on the content rotator, trash can icon, plus icon, pencil icon, and for delete, add, edit. You can do it right here from the home page. You don't have to go into the back end, and that's going to help immensely. Um, with your content management. So, with that being said, I'll scroll down here to the bottom half of our of our landing page. Um, we have our tiled links here. Um, these will get you to other areas uh, within the intranet, um, employee directory, policies, procedures, employee handbook, um, FAQs. Go to the ticket library within the IT portal, um, a contact list, you know, etc. Things that provide value to your business, right? Um, that allow your, your employees to get to what they need to get to. Um, presented in a, in a modern fashion, again, mobile friendly, responsive, um, et cetera. If you need to change them, you have the option. Send the like on. Um, to the right of these are upcoming events, kind of a calendar driven uh, functionality. You have the option to um, Add an upcoming event to a list, and those and those upcoming events get displayed here, right on the home page. Quick downloads is below upcoming events. This is just a document library um, that can be managed by the administrators uh, to put any sort of document you want to just have for quick access, uh, right here on the home page. You have the option to spotlight an employee over here at Employee of the Year. Again, completely customizable, so you can employee of the quarter, employee of the month, whatever you want to do. Um, this pulls from their user profile. So, with Mr. Darrow here, you know, he's put on his profile his skills, his projects, his interests, his schools, and you have the option to view his, his complete profile um, directly from here. And so it, it kind of takes a peek into his profile and it pulls up um, relevant information here. In addition to his, his email and his contact information. Uh, finally, on the home page here at the bottom left, we have our Yammer integration, and, and that's uh, pretty simple to understand. It's just we log in here, and you're able to to comment on your comment boards on Yammer. So that's the home page. Um, you'll notice that you know we have our our widgets. Like I said they're organized by tile. If any of these lists of my favorites or upcoming events or uh, quick downloads you know, exceeds the, the space here on the home page, um, you have the option to view more. So it, it's user friendly. You wouldn't want to impose some kind of artificial limits on you know, your, your internet home page. If anything exceeds the, the set UI limits, you just you, you add a view more. And that allows you to view everything um, within uh, the document library or list. So for example, if I click on quick downloads, you know, this shows all of the of the quick downloads that have been added to this document library. Um, again, this is SharePoint uh, functionality. Document library, you can create a new document right here. You can upload, um, share. Um, again, you have the sharing icon for the site. You have the sharing icon here on a on a document level. So if I click on one of these guys, um, 
there's a preview functionality, um, which allows you to you know sit there and kind of quickly get a peek into what the document is if you're not exactly sure. Um, that allows you know a little little saving of time there, um, if you will. Um, you have options on a per item level. Um, and this one's selected. You can click the share icon. Um, the share icon, um, like I mentioned in the PowerPoint, will show you exactly who has permissions on this um, document that I've selected. You can invite new people. So, let's see, if I wanted to share it with Mr. Darrow again, you have the option to specify if he can view or edit the document. You can send him a little message, and this and this will will send him an email saying, "Hey, this document's been shared with you," um, and so that notifies the person um, immediately. If you need to, you can just get a link, and that will generate a link. And we can also get a list of who already has permissions on the document. See, see that's that's. Part of what makes managing permissions and content easy with the SharePoint powered internet portal is based on, on these functionalities um, designed to be um, accessible and, and easy to use um, by the end user. It, it's designed with you in mind, not an IT manager. It's designed for the average Joe. So no extensive qualifications needed to run this is what I'm saying. So uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and navigate back to the home page really quickly. Up here you can see, um, as I mentioned, we have our uh, navigation. This is our top navigation um, over here. This is powered by SharePoint uh, Managed Metadata uh, from your term store. Um, you're allowed to you know, these are our departmental pages. Um, again, logical organization of content. These are our departments: finance, human, HR, uh, IT, marketing, operations, sales, training. You know, these are just examples of, of what is is possible within um, the the SharePoint site structure. So, if we wanted to navigate, um, say, to the IT uh, portal, we we'll just click on our link. And this loads our IT portal. Um, as you can see, um, this is all IT stuff. As I mentioned, it doesn't make sense to have HR documents in an IT portal and vice versa. Everything needs to be organized um, with some common sense in mind, um, to put it very simply. <laughs> so with our departmental pages, we have departmental specific items. So you see we have an alert bar here, um, but if you notice this is a completely different alert than the one that was on the home page. These are department specific. So it doesn't so an alert doesn't have to be confined to the landing page or confined um, by any means. It's just on the department you have the option post an alert. Those users who need to see it will see it. Um, upcoming events, again, um, specific to the site you're on, um, quick downloads, same idea. So these are IT specific documents, right? And we have a news and announcements feed. Um, this is kind of unique to the department sites. Um, sort of kind of the same idea as, as the content rotator, but put in more of a list uh, format so people could see what they need to see um, from um, from the portal, and, and specifically this site within the portal. From the hub, um, we have a left navigation within our sites. Um, this is a departmental site, so this is IT. We have links to my ticket, submit ticket, IT library, um, FAQs, similar to what you see right here in the thousands. So people have options. Um, things are organized to where people can see them 
even if that means in being in multiple places. So you get to see how that works. So that's an example of a, a departmental page. Um, you have a location menu. Um, you have an option for your employee handbook um, and a project management tool. So this is a specific offering of Doc, um, but as it relates to an internet portal in general, if you're the kind of company that, that needs to manage projects on a, you know, maybe a contract by contract basis um, as such, um, or maybe um, campaigns, marketing campaigns, something along, along those lines, uh, we, we've built this, this project management tool in, in, into Doc. And again, this is just another example of a business need that can be fulfilled by an internet portal. Not necessarily must have, you know, as the, as the title of this webinar you know, indicates, but this is something that, that's a very specific uh, business need. Now, if you are a contract company, yeah, this is must have. But again, something that's specific to a business, to how you're going to run it, it's all you, right? This is focused around you. And you can specify what you want to have, what you don't want to have in your internet portal. And, and again, with Doc, this is a turnkey solution, right? So prior to Doc, you know, prior to us developing this, when we worked with um, customers who wanted an internet portal, a custom internet portal based on SharePoint, that took you know several months of development time, and you know it's it pretty costly. Um, build um, in, in just terms of, of development cost. With, with Doc, what you're going to be getting is a turnkey solution. We have this, this template for you. You, you. you say what you want and what you don't. We, we quickly you know, adjust it based on your business need. And then we deploy this um, using um, some scripts that we provide from our end. And you have this up you know, in maybe as few as a, a couple weeks versus a couple of months. So there's a drastic um, time saving there um, just by using a pre-built internet portal um, like what we provide um, with Doc. And, and again, we provide support for it. Um, we train you how to use it. Um, the, the, the name of the game is you know, your business. How can we improve your business? Right? What's going to let you grow? What's going to let you work the best? And so that, that's really the entire point here, and with an internet portal in general. Again, must have the biggest must have feature of an internet portal is going to be value to your business. If it's not providing value to your business, then what's the point? Exactly. It's going to need to do what you want it to do and be accepted by your users, allow them to work together effectively, be more productive, and just be a happier user base in general. So that's really it. Let me go ahead and switch back over to my PowerPoint. So that's all, folks. Um, you've seen um, what we offer as a product uh, for an internet portal. We've discussed what makes an internet portal good. Um, if you have any further questions, um, you, you can be in contact with us. Um, Sajin, my colleague, um, he's also on the line. Uh, put his contact information here. He's good. He'll be your more your point of contact if you have any further uh, questions. Um, before I end the demo, um, I'll open it up um, to you guys. If you want to have a discussion, um, let us know. Um, so, um, anything to anything to ask us? Are you going to be sending out the recording of the presentation? Yes, sir. Okay, great. And have you, by any chance, uh, managed a database from within this? Because I know SharePoint 2013 allows you to build web-based databases uh, for it. I didn't know if, if Doc uh, accommodates that as well. 
from um, I know that uh, SharePoint 2013 um, and SharePoint in general uses uh, what's called the content database, um, mm -hmm. and that's that's where everything SharePoint related is stored um, in terms of, of data management. Um, I, I'm not familiar with the term you know of, of a web uh, database. Um, perhaps I could follow up um, with that for you. Okay. Yeah, that'd be fine. Perfect. Any other questions, guys? All righty. Well, I think that's it. Um, Sajan, did you have anything to say? Uh, well, that's it. I think. Um um, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. Um, uh, what we'll do as a next step, we'll uh, send out the presentation deck and the recording as well. And uh, yeah, maybe with some couple of case studies, maybe you can you guys can go through it. And uh, please feel free to get in touch with us. You can also watch some of our training videos at mydoc365.com/videos. Uh, that's a great repository. We have a lot of training videos on it on Doc and SharePoint. Um, so, anyways, I'll be sending out the video links shortly. Cool. Good deal. I appreciate that. Okay. Ready. Uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, thank you, Sajan. Um, thank you, Bradley. <laughs> hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll be in touch. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.